What's going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividend. So today I want to do a different type of video and there's a comparison between Bell and TELUS. I want to go over kind of the metrics, the dividends and everything that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, Bell is at 49.31 at the time of doing this video. TELUS is 23.36. Both, I don't think, need any explanation as far as what their business or their segments are. Both are very kind of well-known and investable Canadian stocks. But starting off with good old Bell. I'll try and keep it mirrored so whenever I'm going over metric with Bell, I'm going to do the same for TELUS. But starting off with dividends. So Bell does have a yield of 8.09%, which over the last five years has had about 11.43% dividend growth. Four years of consecutive dividend growth. They have a dividend date coming out next week so on the 14th and they pay quarterly one thing that i have brought up as a concern is their payout ratio so 120.56 percent within the sector it's kind of normal in fact but of course if you're looking outside the sector in then it is relatively high so that is something to be concerned about is it something to sell bell over not really in my opinion so i'm gonna again go over everything starting off with telus's dividends so they do have a yield of 6.44 percent payout ratio is significantly higher and so within the sector it is more so the higher percentile so again something to consider but that is 153.09 percent over the last five years 6.69 percent dividend growth and so that is a little bit lower in comparison to bell and three years of dividend growth um it does look like their ex-dividend date just passed on the 8th and they do have quarterly dividends. So all in all, both have fairly good dividends. Uh, Bell does have a higher payout ratio, so something to kind of consider. But once I go over a lot of the other metrics, it'll make somewhat more sense. Starting off with some of the basic balance sheet and their highlights. So Bell does have $1.7 billion in cash and cash equivalents, $36 billion in debt. Similarly, I know that might seem like a lot, but within its sector is kind of normal. Looking at TELUS though, you do see right here, they have 882 million in cash and cash equivalents. So it is a little bit lower and 27.6 billion in debt. So as far as a ratio, very much in favor for Bell. But of course, TELUS is more of an expansionary stock. So once the economy does continue to expand, this is where TELUS could really stand to benefit. And the multiples will represent that, which again, I'll go over in a second. Looking over the last several earnings for TELUS, they have shown a lot stronger growth. And so it looks like about 2.65 in their Q4, 7. 54 on Q3 and that is comparing it to for instance very flat still positive but flat with Bell. So this is one of those things that is starting to have the writing on the wall is that Bell is struggling and this is why they did do some layoffs recently. So Bell's fundamental business is lagging a little bit. I actually do really like to talk on shorts, not necessarily the Canadian stocks under this channel, but I do have several other YouTube channels. One is Financial Journey trending stocks and some stocks are kind of big squeeze plays so in this case definitely not um, especially with 1.31 percent of the free float being shorted but i like to look at this information because if a stock does have a high short interest it clearly shows that there's some underlying issues but with bell 1.31 percent and that works out to be 11.87 million shares overall are being shorted and just comparing it to TELUS, 3% and 44.11 million shares. So a lot more shorts are in TELUS versus Bell. Again, that will kind of match with this right here. So looking at the PS or even more specifically, I guess the PE ratio, 21.7 versus 16.1 is the future. And so that is relatively okay, kind of a little bit low for the sector. So that could represent a deep discount or maybe some additional fear that's why people aren't really buying it and that probably is stemming from their lack of growth but looking and comparing that to for instance TELUS. So TELUS, their PE ratio is 40.3 versus 22.3. So you can already tell just based on that, TELUS is more of an expansionary stock. So if the economy is going to expand, then TELUS will definitely outperform Bell. But there's a lot of different circumstances that could play out in the foreseeable future that could change all of that, such as interest rate cuts. A lot of these very heavy dividend paying stocks are kind of inverse to interest rates. So if interest rates do get cut or get 
lowered essentially. A lot of these should get a nice boost associated to that. But again, looking at just Bell's future growth based on their earnings, it is kind of low. So 1.91 estimated for 2025 and 2.4 for 2026. Comparing that to TELUS, 4.09% for 2025, 5.53 for 2026. So still, I think if you are looking for growth, TELUS might be the advantageous one versus if you're looking more so for stability, dividends, then Bell might be advantageous. Again, both are very good stocks. Both are very profitable and everything else. Going over some additional information such as this. So Elliott Wave Technicals. Right now, I do have a Bell and it has a pivot point of $50.40 which again, Bell right now is 49.31, so technically below this pivot point. So for as long as Bell is below this, then it is anticipated to be between this 45.40 and 46.30. Comparing that to TELUS, for instance, looking at the Elliott Wave, it does have a pivot point of 24.11, or sorry, 24.10. Similarly, it is below that right now, so it is anticipated to get between this 21.40 and 21.90. So both technicals, are kind of crap if that makes sense but then again the market's been favoring growth stocks not necessarily dividend plays so this is why they have also been going down as well just to give you a quick overview of what analysts have been saying so again i do have telus up so a lot of their analysts have been giving ratings associated to their earnings as a consensus 27 dollars 39 and that represents a 17.25 percent upside a lot of the analysts that have been giving ratings are fairly good so last couple of ones were 29.75 24, 26, 24, 28, and all good ratings done by analysts, as you can kind of see. Comparing that to Bell, for instance, so I'll just quickly get off of that and go back. So right here for Bell, last one was done about five days ago. No price target was given, but it was downgraded. Other than that, though, a lot of that was associated to their earnings. So 26 days ago, 51, 59, 55, 50, 55. So given as a consensus among all of them, $54 and 79 cents. And that does work out to be 11.11% upside. So it does look like given the circumstances in the economy, analysts are actually favoring tell us so again i know i've given you a lot of information giving you good summaries of kind of what is advantageous in TELUS versus Bell, but still all in all, both uh, would be very good for any portfolio as a good combination of growth and dividends. Just right now, you want to assume that the economy is going to grow and not go through a kind of recession, because if that does happen, or I guess when I talk on recession, I'm talking on like great depression kind of scenarios, both of these stocks would get completely slammed based on their balance sheet and just how much they're paying in dividends. So all in all, let me know your thoughts. Which one do you prefer, uh, either Bell or TELUS and why? So let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below. Also, on a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information such as this, technicals and whatever else, take a look at Interactive Brokers for all of this information to be completely free just by clicking on the link in the description below or the comments because Interactive Brokers actually did start this new desktop and this is what it is. So it is completely free to have all of this information. So highly suggest in taking advantage of that. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.